It is the 24th of the 4th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. I got home from work last night and uh, jumped on Skype and got on The Den radio show with Max Egan. Uh, they haven't posted up the video yet. As soon as they do, I will definitely uh, provide a link for that. I'd like to apologize for Max if I uh, put more than my two cents worth in. I, I tried not to step on your toes too much. It was my first interview. Uh, so please forgive me. Anyway, uh, thanks guys. I really enjoyed the show. Let's get on with the news, shall we? Uh, Scott.net or Sot.net. Rain and snow hit parts of Ontario, Quebec, and New Brunswick. Rain and wet snow sweeping through parts of the Atlantic, Canada, Ontario, and Quebec, where Hydro-Quebec reports more than 28,000 customers are without power. The winter may have been mild in Ontario, but it's going out strong with snow in some areas and wind and rain in many others. And that's that big system that rolled up the East Coast. Strong earthquakes in the past 10 years, as much as during the entire 20th century. And these earthquakes have definitely been gearing up since I've been paying attention to them. Russian scientists announced last week alarming observations about the strong earthquake that shook the earth. In the first decade of the 21st century, there were almost as many earthquakes measuring above 6.0 on the Richter scale as there were during the entire 20th century. Fourteen such cases were registered in 2001 to 2011 period compared to 17 strong tremors during the 20th century. Uh, the Super 19 uh, Miniti week, Weekly reads, Astrologists believe this might have something to do with the entering the age of Aquarius. By a terrifying coincidence, it was on March 11, 2011 that the Fukushima disaster happened. And I believe they're talking about the galactic plane, us crossing that kind of thing. Silent hives, colony collapse, disorder, and pesticides, and more stor stories coming up saying that uh, the pesticides are definitely a major factor in uh, the beehive collapse situation that we are all dealing with. Bees are very important to us. Volcano behind Atlantis legend reawakens. Uh, this is a volcano I've been telling you about. One of the largest volcanic eruptions in the past 10,000 years occurred in approximately 1620 BC on the volcanic island of Santornini in the Aegean Sea following the 1620 BC eruption much of the previous island uh, was destroyed or submerged. This event may have been the inspiration for the legend of the lost continent of Alaska and you gotta remember this is the one where the scientist says the magma is flowing up underneath a uh, very very dangerous volcano and then they've got the east coast weather freak weather east coast snow cuts power to 50,000 more to come over to uh, the extinction protocol they've got a lot of war drum stuff going on some of the economy stuff but I'm just gonna cover the climate change uh, Indonesia's Mount Lokan volcano erupts uh, erupted at 10.20 a.m. on Tuesday after several days of increased activity. The height of, at which the lava shot out of the volcano was unknown because the clouds were blocking the full view. The, agent, the agency declared the areas within 2.5 kilometer radius of the mountain peak dangerous and urged nearby residents to stay alert. Apparently nobody lives right up next to this volcano, but uh, the people that do live close by, they're not evacuating them yet. They're, they're they're asking to remain calm. And uh, another story, Ecuador's Tungaraja volcano blows its top, raining down gravel in nearby town. Over the weekend, uh, the volcanic eruption had a strong explosion and caused gravel to fall down in a nearby town in Ecuador. The explosion, characterized by its loud cannonball shot, was immediately detected by locals and scientists observing the volcano's progress. Uh, yet another volcano popping off. Um, they got some numbers out on that chemical blast in Japan. Uh, blast a chemical plant in Japan kills one and injures 15. That's the official numbers. And uh, that's about all I want to cover on there tonight. Over to the RSOE quick. I uh, got severe flash flooding in Afghanistan, torrential rains. Flash flooding in uh, Shelby, England. They're having those those uh, rainstorms. 
landslide in Colombia due to weather. And uh, what else? What else? That's about all new they've got going on tonight. So I'm just going to take you over to the the nuclear stuff to E and E news real quick. Cold shutdown question mark. Pressure doubles inside reactor number two containment vessels since the start of April. TEPCO's trying to reduce the pressure. I remember reporting yesterday that uh, TEPCO back on the 20th increased water flow to the number two reactor, Fukushima Daiichi. So uh, let's start putting the pieces together. Something is seriously wrong going on with number two. Government report EPA's ability to protect human health with RADNET was political was potentially impaired for Fukushima. Officials questions why they were using dramatically less strict standards for radiation contamination. They're cutting corners. They've been cutting corners. Washington Post, closing reactors causing a mess after non-catastrophic Fukushima crisis. Non-catastrophic? Won't you go over there, buddy? Argues for building of more new plants in the United States. Nuclear power is a crime against humanity. TEPCO to dump groundwater from under reactor buildings into ocean. Kyoto, 1,000 tons a day. TEPCO would check contamination levels before releasing it. Are they going to tell you what's in there, or are they going to lie? So, uh, again, they're going to just start dumping this water into the ocean because they got nowhere to put it. The Economist, astounding that health of people near Fukushima Daiichi not being tracked. Uh, if it is being tracked, they're definitely not keeping record of it. Book of Fukushima worker, bottom of Diani reactor may be broken through. Rumors of possible explosion. Now, this isn't the Diachi, this is Diani, so we got another reactor, possibly uh, China syndrome. Two years later, Professor Microbes in the Gulf attacking things other than oil. This is in the BP. Very large increase in crab and lobster with appendages falling off. High incidences of eyeless shrimp. Uh, more on the different things going on in the Gulf of Mexico with the Corexit and the oil spill. And uh, they're going to blame everybody but the major company on that. White sheets covering surface of spent fuel number four. Seen during top officials tour of Fukushima Daiichi. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Nuclear expert raises doubts about support columns under spent fuel pool number four at Fukushima Daiichi. You gotta remember these things are 100 feet in the air, and uh, the foundation, if you've seen the pictures of these, and uh, most of us have, very, very scary situation going on right there. Uh, tens of thousands still living today in highly contaminated areas around Fukushima plant, effectively abandoned by government, says a nuclear expert. These people are left to fend for themselves. And that's about all new I'm going to cover tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please uh, attach your comments or videos below. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks.